students from the School of Theology will be graduating and this year is our 25th anniversary. Our heartbeat right from the beginning is to see disciples of Christ being raised up to be effective ministers in all arenas of society and that still holds true today. The journey each student takes may be different but very often one prayer, one encounter, one touch from the Lord can change the course of our lives and ministry. And this is Bambi from our class of 2019. So Bambi, can you tell all of us here, share with us what was the one experience you have had this year that really impacted your life? Thank you, Pastor. Actually, this year, I came to really asking God for a breakthrough. When I was 15 years old, I was involved in a relationship that led to sexual abuse. I knew that sex before marriage was wrong but gave in because my partner wanted it. Deep down, I felt used and soiled, ashamed and not good enough for anything else. I've never shared this with anyone because I felt like no one would understand or worse, that they would judge me for it. I became Christian at 17 and I've been serving God for almost six years. But I struggled with the guilt and condemnation no matter how much I tried. This year at SOT, I slowly began to find healing in the presence of God. The daily worship, constant feeding on God's Word, prayer focus, and fellowship with my new friends. During the deliverance sessions with Mike Connell, I finally felt like I broke through a barrier of shame and the river of God's love flooded my heart, restoring the years of pain. Wow, praise the Lord. God's love is made real in our hearts when we surrender our hearts to Him. And you know what? God healed us, restored us, and I understand you are now a song leader in SOT this year. And actually, you have been leading worship back home in the Philippines. So how has this journey been for you? I'm very humbled each time I led worship at SOT. We get to learn both practically and spiritually and grow together with the whole band. One key thing I learned was to serve out of an overflow of my personal worship and prayer. Experiencing Jesus is not reserved only for Sundays, but for every single moment of our lives. More than just skills, I learned how to cultivate a lifestyle of pursuing God and to consistently contend for God's presence. So, Pastor, how about you? When were you in SOT? Wow, I was in SOT from 1997 to 1998. Now, back in those days, SOT was a two-year course and I was just 24 years old. I remember back then, I went on my first mission trip and you know what? It was in the Philippines. I preached my first sermon to a large crowd, led praise and worship and stepped up in faith to pray for the sick. And when you carry the presence of God, our lives become an adventure for the spirit, soul and body. That one trip ignited my love for missions and discipling the nations. Even up till today, when I see people from all over the world coming to SOT year after year, I feel so privileged. So privileged that you choose to set aside your time to seek the Lord. Your dedication, determination and devotion to God is what makes a difference. Thank you so much, Pastor. Now that we are graduating, I can't decide if time passed too fast or too slow. I wish I had more time to be trained but I can't wait to see what God has in store for me back home. Coming to SOT is one of the best decisions I've made. One encounter with God changed my life. Will you say yes today?